non sequitur.txt. Pulls down his pants and unleashed a torrent of wibbly wobbling animals to end the Fourth Reich once and for all. At precisely that moment, John Chang bursts in and goes, Yeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
evil opponent. We never learned. But for days to come, whenever I took a shit, it ended looking like a little amusement park complete with sheep barreling down a roller coaster track and Van Gogh selling popcorn to unsuspecting terrorists. Maybe it was Sarah's way of telling me to subdue my goddamn cereal. Ah, Sarah. My beloved sister. Insurance agent and semen-stained sex toy all rolled into a delicious package of despair and low, low mortgage rates. I fondly remember her incoherent diatribes on random Sunday mornings, spitting and screaming at her little white dog Gustav. whoop de fucking do shik a huber m m m m monster kill Anyway, naturally, Sarah was quite shocked at this regular display of digestive fortitude and audibly protested by refusing to keep his prosthetic vocal cords well-oiled. Her wrath was so awesome to behold. Her brazen hair tossed up by the storms, raging about the panda who was all that could have been. Her eyes aglow with the fiery glaze of a thousand farts lit on fire. Her claw-like hands trembling like claw-like hands. None would dare stand against her. None but Constantin. But then again, that was the same guy who stood against a 30-ton truck careening down the freeway after hitting a speeding penguin. So that doesn't really count for anything. One day, after Gustav had once again reinvented the wheel, Sarah refused to take him for a walk. Right then and there, the shit hit the Red Sox fan. Bearing his fangs against Sarah, Gustav began powering up to become Super Goku Saiyan. We would have been sitting there for millennia to come if I hadn't, in a revolting and yet touching gesture, hit fast forward. I remember very little of what transpired afterwards, except my deodorant couldn't do anything against it. We never saw Gustav again, and Sarah lived out the rest of her days as an amorphous blob in a steam-powered wheelchair, dispensing wisdom such as works without fail and self-constraint. Faggot, 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 fago to faggot, faggot. Faggot, 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 fago. Cun, 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 coo. Nt. Cun, 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 cun. Asshole, 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 ass. Shole, asshole, 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 ass. Dipshit, 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 dipshit. Ah! Shit, dipshit, 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 dip. Cocksucker, cocksucker, cow. Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Godless heathen, godless heathen, godless. Bastard, 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 bastard. Pussy bitch, pussy bitch, bitch. Shit eater, shit eater, shit eater. Worms in my head. Gotta get the worms in my. Fuck bucket, fuck bucket, fuck bucket. Communism, 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 com. Pig, 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 pig. Dick Waddick 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 Fuck you soccer Jesus Fuck your sock The goat semen Yes the goat semen can Subliminal message Subliminal messages The declaration of toast Of the 13 space colonies In extremo July 4th 1776 The uninspired delusion Of the 13 united souffleurs Of Ah When in the frog of crunchy games It becomes multidious For pie quantum technicians To recline the germane waffles And have observed them with another And to not give a dead dog's dong Among the powers of Captain Planet. The superior and playful disaster for which the laws of liftoff and my huge member provoke them, a pretty neat voiceover to the luggage of that one guy in television requires that they should ignore the wasps and suppress them to the black metal. We hold these ice creams to be self-aware, that all forums are painted voluntarily, that they are surpassed by their cleavage with certain incomprehensible thingies, and among these are anti-disestablishmentarianism, your mom, and the pursuit of Pop-Tarts. That to piss on the smoldering remains of these rites, pigeons are instituted among giants, deriving their true nature from the umbrellas of the trains. One leaving Northwick Station at 9.10 a.m., and the other leaving Paddington at 8.30 a.m., then that whenever any fuck of boo-boo becomes enthralled in the throes of orgasm of these mice, it is the rock and roll of the tsunami to write or to surf it, and to bump new cookies, laying its pipe on such melodies and negating its jackals in such form, as to them shall seem most neat to affect. Their capital letters and boobies, Prussia indeed, will dictate that fa happy smiley guy, monocle guy, guy running around in a circle, a giggity giggity man, uh, uh, the uh, smiley face, a kind of a sad face, an angry face, and then a super saiyan face. Pop goes the weasel, and by weasel I mean your penis. And by that I mean playing with you have a tortoise, which for all intensive purpose, ha 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 ha, did you catch that? I said intensive purposes instead of intents and purposes. It's funny because you probably are gargling cabbages. Wheel in what to ambash company. Mon sens Sean to carry home the just the word of do do ah. Sailors. But of course, this is only half the grizzly, and any seasoned peanut butter veteran would accuse you. There, here's the lowdown. Poodle. You may be disgusted by the shocked now, but that's okay because ding dong. Your life won't ever be the same again once somebody considers your father a turd burglar, and somebody tends to use that term as loosely as possible. Got some spare change? Ten out of an unidentified less than zero range of unemployed wardrobes prefer sass over sass, but them's the breaks. Bees! Bees! Bzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
Wrong! The correct answer should have dropped you on your head like a ton of bricks, but you don't see Stevie Wonder asking for handouts on top of the Empire State Building. I am gingerly fondling my penis as I type this, in real time, while a wing of monkeys carpet bombs Dresden into submission and a shape faintly resembling Pac-Man. Hello, my name is Caps Lock. Who is driving me nuts? Wheel is driving me nuts. How can that be? He, 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 man! And the power of Grayskull! <laughs> Similicus Suidus Majoris, often used to denote the consumption or expected consumption or finished consumption or eluded consumption or, bet you didn't see that coming, Georg Bruckner was a pretty what fellow. One time we hung out together and he showed me parts of his new play and there was this total slut named Marie and I was like, I'd hit it, whereupon the skies burst asunder and the stack of blue and gray boxes collapsed in slow motion. I don't know what that was all about either, but later Beethoven made a symphony about it and I think there are several faggots in it. Ha, <laughs> faggot. I like how the gays are always in the butt of jokes, much like I capitalize important words because the fox lies low over the manufacturing plant at night, mostly. But what do I know? Mike hasn't taken his meds in half a lorry. As a trumpet, his pencil oscillates oddly during daylight savings time on every second Tuesday. The doctor telepathically encouraged him that if he keeps doing things like that, he might well find email spam setting his groin on fire, and now who would want that? Goddamn kids always play it on my lawn, that's who. Back in the day, we just exterminate some Indian tribes, and that was that, but no. Nowadays, we have to have a cell phone and, and a degree in Celsius, or you might as well 10,000 miles under the sea. Damn near killed him. Or hair dryer. Oh, hair dryer. Thanks. I enjoy stroking my sheep ominously because it gives me that certain feeling in my pants. If you are a regular reader of Reader's Digest, and I know you R-S-T-U-V-W-X-Y-Z, now, I have Sesame Street flashbacks and they scare me because I see Big Bird squatting over the trembling body of my mother, and I can't bring myself to talk about it. It bark, bark. I think I'm going to take a bath now. I feel unclean. I'm, I long for the warm embrace of water between my quacking loins.